Wildlife in Needs Tim Stark went in front of a judge today in Indianapolis. The judge didn't make any big rulings in the case, but the hearing was nothing short of eventful. Shane McAllister, who first exposed allegations of neglect at this property, was the only Louisville reporter at the hearing and brings us the latest from inside the courtroom. Inside this courtroom, the hearing on record was uneventful. The judge didn't make any rulings in the case and there was no new evidence presented. But what happened off official record was explosive. Tim Stark escorted out of the courtroom before the judge even came in. It was a lot of pacing, a lot of swearing, a lot of derogatory remarks against the ex-employees, ex-volunteers, um, a lot of how we're lying in a lot of customers. Witnesses say after his outburst, seven more sheriff's deputies were brought in as extra security, something practically unheard of in a civil courtroom. Throughout the hearing, Stark went on a few rants, mostly pointed at the former wildlife in need volunteers, the same women who came to us with accusations of abuse last year. That's just how Tim is with all of us. And the more outspoken you are, the bigger target you have on your back. Stark alleged the Indiana Attorney General's office is in cahoots with PETA and said the court system doesn't care about the truth. After court, we were interviewing former volunteers who wore the names of animals they say died at wildlife in need on the back of their t-shirts. And then, Stark walked One out second. and I asked him, Tim, anything you want to say? Sure and he answered, in there, you bunch of <laughs> mother watch what happens when I get you on the stand. Let's see what happens. Let's see every one of you. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready for that? Because we're going to pull you up on the stand and I'm going to show that you're the lying little <laughs> that you are. You wanted to go against me? Do yeah. I can talk however the I want. Okay. You know, on, courtroom now I can talk to him however the hell I want. It's English language. My Anything else, Tim? The profanity-riddled verbal attack aimed at the former volunteers led to security loading Stark into an elevator and then leading him out of the building. The judge says he does plan to make some decisions in this case soon, but he wouldn't give a deadline. He also said he thinks a trial could be on the horizon. In Indianapolis, I'm Shay McAllister.